gentlemen welcome to the Harrison show I'm Brian Harrison and today's topic is going to be physical media versus digital media now that's going to be the title of the topic but what people what I'm going to mention is what I call a new digital media okay uh, people aren't are afraid to talk about that is there wrong with both physical and digital media no I actually think that they're better together than they are separate. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, like with the DVD, when you go buy a Blu-ray, you get a physical copy, which guarantees you have the movie, and a digital copy, which is you don't have to pull up the disc ever, you, if you, unless you need it. And there's two good reasons. One, power outage. I have a Blu-ray player that will work better when it, if, like, say, we had a power outage. We have. Um, which we had not too long ago, but wasn't long lived. It was more that they were switching to a more um, uh, upgrading power stuff, so they did shut it down at a certain time for a little bit at, while they did the switch, which makes sense, okay? But I'm talking about power outages. We have playing DVDs, playing Blu-rays. We like both. I personally like both physical and digital. Um, and the other thing is what people forget is. Um, both are great, but you also got to understand a lot of these companies who are put in digital aren't exactly trustworthy. You know, you got to be able to trust the people you are using, that are using, you know, that you're using that media because they could pull it down. They could, um, now it's hard, now, th there's two difference though. They're not, it's not saying it doesn't happen. They don't always pull down digital media that you buy and you put to your hard drive it just means you may not be able to access it anymore um, there's that possibility where you cannot buy the digital media or you may not be able to download it in the in the future um, people try to say well they can they can um, they can do the same thing with um, physical media they could find a way to shut you down because they think that you know that everybody's connected online you know like people don't have blu-ray players that don't have internet i have dvd player that doesn't even it doesn't even know what in internet cable is i even have a blu-ray player that's old enough that doesn't even know what an internet cable is can i even connect, connect online it's what what you see is what you get okay good luck <laughs> i mean just good luck you're shooting off the wind there on that one the reason why i decided to do this debate is i saw it and i saw what i call I see the problem with unhealthy debates on this because you're, you're throwing so much into the wind. The thing is with digital is more uncertain than physical. Okay, physical, I'm guaranteed. I buy that DVD. It's mine. I take it home. Okay, with and that's why they want to walk away from it because it's harder for them to control it. They cannot guarantee to shut it down. They're more guaranteed to shut digital down. But what they're more, but that's not what people need to be concerned about. What people need to be concerned about is what I call this new digital media. It's they're just disguising as digital. It's where you really don't even have the ability to download it. What it is is it's always online, period. Um, and they'll say, well, digital is always online, even with like Voodoo and stuff like that. No, no, that's true too. But this is a whole nother thing where they really want people to be on nothing but streaming services, period. That means streaming gaming, and that means that they could put up a game so this is what this means okay digital I can download it I could still download it. I have a few digital games because it came either with the console or the, I'll just talk about gaming okay um, but I was actually able to download sort of a physical copy digital copy download it to my hard drive okay I could play that anytime I want the new digital media is where you can't even download the stuff you pay for basically you pay for the new hardware let's say a new Xbox comes out 
you pay for that this is where they want to go you pay for that and it's only and not only that they'll tell you on the box it requires you not only to pay for the console which is going to be whatever money amount there's going to be expense it's going to be over a thousand bucks by the time unless they drop things down they can but and they're going to have to because not only are they going to just take you on the hardware uh, they're going to also take you on that you have to have you buy their new console it's going to limit more people to buy consoles you have to buy into their service too that's going to be a requirement kind of like Alexa okay and in some ways where you have Amazon where you buy a certain you buy her little speaker or you buy the Amazon speaker you have to have that service to use that speaker that's just how it is um, uh, you know to especially to shop online and stuff things like that but they're going to make it harsh like really harsh so you buy a playstation you're going to they're going to nail you to their service meaning that you buy it you also buy the service now they may provide like a like because you bought the console they may try to be sort of nice about it and they'll provide like a month service which will people will be angry about but it'll be like and it can change anytime so let's say this month is nine bucks that's the other issue next month it could be a hundred and something, kind of like what Verizon used to do. This is exactly what Verizon used to do. One month you start with a good cell phone plan. They say, "Oh yeah, it's fifty-five bucks a month. Fifty-five bucks a month. That's all you have to pay. Don't worry about it." But next month it's at two hundred and something, and it's the same. And you didn't change anything. You didn't do anything. You go, why am I paying two hundred bucks? This is rip off. Oh well, we make. Well, we had to do this. We had to do that. And see, uh, this is what made me walk away from Verizon is because that's the same thing these companies are gonna pull off. And what makes it worse is now because you can't even download the digital copy. What makes this worse is it's living online permanently. They let's say you're enjoying this game. I'll give you an example. You're enjoying this game. You're playing it. Maybe you're even enjoying a movie. This is will apply to some movies too. Not all movie companies are not as eager because they're still selling tons of DVDs. They're still selling. I mean, just because Best Buy is not selling, it. and that's another thing. People, are, Best Buy is not selling physical media, so it's all dead. No, it's Walmart still selling it. Target still sells it. GameStop still sells it. Oh come on, it's going to be hard to kill physical media, it, it, and they're going, to, they're going to try, but it's going to be really hard to do it. Um, so what the point I'm trying to make in in this video is the fact that when it's not that digital is bad. I think digital is good if you have safeguards. You have to have guaranteed safeguards that they cannot absolutely under no circumstances do this, 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 this. And if they do this, 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 they get shut down. And that's what that should happen. You're shut down. They should even guarantee physical media. So just in case something happens because power goes out, you have to guarantee. See, the problem with digital media, you have to guarantee that power is always on. Number one, Internet is always connected, always on. And it's not. Internet goes down, too. And and, 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 and the cities it may not be as bad, but in rural areas, it gets worse. They'll have it go. They can have it go down for a week. I mean, they can have it go down for months. Okay, you. Everybody acts like if you live. I mean, if you live in a city, things happen faster because of the the city is more dependent. But when you're out in places, people can go. I mean, people could go over time. I've been time when they were starting to push this stuff digital. I've been time where we did have stuff go out. Now power is harder unless you have a generator and you can play games. But what I'm saying, we had internet outages that could last for a couple days. Okay, and you want to play a game? Well, forget it. It's not going to happen. Okay, so I have computers. I could play older games. I could just sit there and pop in all the game as long as I have electricity. Just physical disc, pop it in, play. But the, the problem what we, we need to be scared about is what I call this new digital media, where now it's online. And let's say you're enjoying this game. Well, they can just they can just rip it from you because it's on their service. You're not even able to download it. That's what I'm saying. You're paying for service that's permanently online. You're not able to download even the digital copy. See, right now we have a good where we have physical and digital, but that we're able to download to a point, the digital copy. Now, if you're on games, you're able to download to your hard drive. If you're on... Um, yeah, if you're on movies, you're mostly going through Vudu, which is still online. You're not really downloading it, but they put it in your library. And if their service goes down, which does happen too, you're not able to access it, so you have to pull a physical disk. But it's okay because they know if they're well. If you're smart, you know you have both. I would prefer both, but this is not what people need to be really concerned about. This they do do need. They do. We do need to be concerned about it. 
but what we need to be concerned about more is not where they're headed. They're headed towards a totalitarian. They're using media to be tyrants, but they're going towards this new digital idea where everything is 100% online, but what really makes it bad, which no one's talking about, which I'm amazed all these professionals I've listened to don't see whether what's really happening they sort of have an idea but they're not actually hitting the hand the head on the or the hammer on the nail so to speak they're missing the point the point what they're really trying to do these companies are in control is that it's a permanent online through a service you pay like disney plus where they could pull it down anytime they want and they don't have to care about you they don't have to give a darn about what you think they're in control and you're going to live with what they decide and they can change the game they can completely change the game so it's unrecognizable they can do whatever they want they you could be through middle call of duty you're enjoying your call of duty game oh this is so great and one day you go in there and it's gone and you don't understand why you you put sunk hours into this game and it's gone never to be seen again if it, if if it even sees the light of day let's and what's sad is let's say you're playing this game and they decide that it's not seen the light day ever you're toast you are toast and you're gonna be and people are gonna be so mad because you think about it it's not now you're not even going to be able to download your digital games you're not gonna be even even able to download digital movies they're going to put there that's why they're pushing these streaming services because they think they're just going to get everybody so you, it's, it's it's coming to a point of greed it's not even selling you a product anymore see companies the way you bait money it's been this way for thousands of years through human history. All of a sudden, only in recent history has it severely tried to change to where they control what you buy down to every little thing. They're going to control, they're going to try to do every little thing they can in their power to do whatever they can to ruin you. In some ways, to ruin your lives. In some ways, it will prove your lives, but a lot of ways, I think it will ruin. I, that's the problem. Um, look at all these job losses. Look at all that. You can't tell me with all this stuff that's going on. And look at all the lawsuits companies end up in court to, just with media. I mean, I'm waiting for the downfall f to happen fast because the only, everything through human history was I make something, I, I make something, I sell it to you, you buy it, it's yours. They're trying to do opposite thing, which are tr everybody's trying to just, there's not everybody. There's a, quite a few people on both sides, but there's a, quite, there's a few people that a little bit upset me because they don't realize that one, it, it doesn't affect them till it does, and when it does affect them, they're going to be mad about it. Trust me. These are going to be very people. And the other thing, these are the same people that told you that, um, what do you call those, uh, oh man, they're coming back in style. Um, I had <laughs> vinyl was gone, you know, or the, you know, the, I'm going to call them the huge disc, but basically vinyl, Walmart selling them. Our Walmart is selling them like crazy hotcakes. Physical has not died yet until it's dead. It's the same thing. It's not gone until the fat lady sings. Okay? It hasn't died completely. It's going to be one of those things for years that's going to be really hard to kill off. And I love it how people, there are people who push this, and it will frustrates me how there are people who talk about this, who push this physical media, who push this physical media is dead. It's just dead. Well, look at vinyl. These are the same idiots. And I'm sorry to say the word idiots because they kind of are, in a way. These are the same dumb butts that are telling you vinyl died. I remember those people. I remember people telling me before YouTube exists, oh, it's gone, it's gone forever. And I went, okay, maybe. I said, and they said, oh, it, give it several years, you'll just see them in a museum. They'll be completely dead. No one will want to touch it. It's back. And I'm laughing because I'm seeing, I'm like, you trust these people? These are the very people tell you physical media is dead and watch, it's going to come back in force. It's going to come back so bad in force one day that these people are going to be laughed off the stage. They're going to be, we don't listen to you anymore. And that's why I think we need to be so careful when we discuss certain things like this. And we need to be careful what we say about other people too. But I feel like there's a lot more idiots on this subject than there are smart people on the subject. Because the smart people are in the middle. The very smart people are saying, let's see what happens first. Let's don't jump on the gravy train for both and i like both to be honest i personally think that sometimes digital is really great it's nice when you're not feeling well to just pop in a, to, to just know that there's a game you can just play okay and then there's other times physical especially if you don't like say the internet goes out and you can't use that digital copy for whatever reason you just pop in a physical i love both i always will go for both if i can if i have an option to go for both i'll go for both 
but this is not what we need to be concerned about. What we need to be concerned about is what they're trying to do. They're, it's not even about copyrights. It's not even about, I mean, domain and all that. That does to play a factor, but it's really about total, total, total dictator control of what you can consume, what they want you consume, what they think you should see, and if they, they could pull it down. See, this is the problem with this. They could pull it down because they don't like it. Not because the public doesn't like it. It could be something that everybody loves, and they would find a way if they think that it upstages their persona of what they want you to know. And it could happen with any companies. You can see really strict companies, but like the left, let's say one company is completely left you know and they just want left ideo ideology they're going to shove it down your throat whether you want it or not and you're going to have that group and then you're going to have the conservative group who's going to do the same thing just with their conservative stuff i've seen the dangers of both these groups and both of them are barreling towards destruction and we're like oh this is great and that's the thing with the problem with media the media what should be should be the, which is thousands of years and it's not not going to change very easily okay this is new is that people want you I buy, I take home, it's mine. I use it. I don't care what you think. I put money into it. This is mine now. Okay, well, it's a license. I don't care. It's mine. I paid for a physical copy. I gave you what you asked me. You asked me for $20 or whatever. I paid you the $20. It's my DVD. It's my movie. Okay, I could destroy the disc. I could do whatever. Except for... I mean, I can understand not copying. Okay, that, go ahead. I shouldn't be able to copy it. But I, you shouldn't be able to tell me what to watch. It's not about this anymore. They're, what they're, It's total control, total domination of who you are as a human being. And I feel like it's wrong. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from today. It's not to be mean. I, if, I, if I come off of a little bit mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Um, but I'm just coming off with a serious thing, situation where we as humans need to take control of our planet and not let certain people dictate everything to us. And we as human beings need to be a little more concerned about these companies' intentions. That's all it's about. It's not even a, they. If you listen to them long enough, you realize it's not even about. Oh, they they're concerned about people stealing. There's people who, hackers who steal that digital media all the time even though it's just on their service look what happened to sony movies got out before they were i mean so i mean if they if they're worried about it, they should be fighting it harder i don't know i mean it's crazy gta, GTA 6 got leaked earlier okay and then they had to come up with something so it's not about if they want to prevent it digital you can steal it too if you have the right people and they will spread it around like wildfire so that's it's not preventing that okay it's causing more of it, actually. It's not causing more harm. Because what you need to do is, in order for people not to steal that type of media, there are servers, which I call, and I used to have one, well, a hard drive. More. It's not like a server, but it runs like a server. You can buy it. They're like my books. You plug them in. And I plugged it. You, I could wire, unless they wire it into my wall or wire it into my device itself, they could not touch some, some digital media I could store separately and... I mean, literally, they'd come to my house. So, there there are ways to prevent that. But with this whole digital thing, there's I can see a lot of wildfires. I can see a lot of unhappy people. It's and in, in the end, it is greed. I'm sorry, it's greed. It's not even about these people living. These people live very well. Don't be fooled. They they show off their stuff. It should tell you. And that's why people get angry because they show off their cars. They show off. They have no problem. These people make great paychecks. The only reason why they're not is because they are more interested in some ideology they have in their head rather than pleasing what, hey, you're selling a product. You're, and so you got to make that product and people so that, and make it so people could trust that product and buy it. That's what a lot of these companies built first. There's a reason why we buy today is because we trusted them. We trusted they had, that they, that they would make something good we liked and we'd buy it and we'd play it. We'd take it home and play it. And that's with anything. But anymore, they're pushing not even towards digital media as f digital media you can download now they're going to just sell you this box it's not going to take much hard drive think about it i guarantee you they will probably pop in if they pop in at all maybe a terabyte they may keep it there but they can drop it down they'll probably pop in they'll probably say it doesn't need more we'll save hard drive well they may even save on the size of the box just it will be it will be stupid people will be mad because it'll just be the stupid little digital box that's where they're going to head towards, and they, 
and all it will do is maybe have some a good enough space so they can update it so that determines whether they're going to put a 250 hard drive in or two 250 sd stick whatever they want to put in there um and then they're going to put like a 500 they may go up to five or thou or terabyte maybe but i think they're going to lessen the storage capacity you know where you can actually store games so it'd be all in one box and you'll be restricted to whatever you buy xbox you're restricted even if they throw on other platforms but you're still restricted to their service their platform and then the same thing will be sony you'll have to buy their their system their service to even play it's not even going to be a choice you buy that box you guarantee that you're going to have that service or you just bought something that's worthless it'll just sit there on your table you can't do anything you barely turn you could probably turn it on and it'll tell you sorry no service um can't you know you'll that that's will be the screen until you activate it'll try to tell you here activate the service you can access the stuff and that's how restricted they're going to be they're going to be very brutal on what they can do to you and they'll change the price out will they'll laugh as they're going to the bank because that's how that's how greedy they are they won't even care there's and there and the rules coming in soon the government takes forever to catch up to these people and they'll be laughing for a long time if they get away with this unless we stand if we make a stand just say we don't buy until you give us something we want until you complete your games until you give us good media that we want to consume that we want to pay for if we make if there's enough people to strike back on these people they won't even make it they'll just collapse in their own mire and be replaced hopefully by better people who will say hey we need to go back to actually giving people what they want giving physical media being able to buy their player um, and being able to just pop that physical media in and watch it with whether there's internet or no internet so that's my thought on digital media today i'm sorry it's a little longer video it feels like i'm looking at the counter here but I hope you enjoyed the show. I'll see you next time, and we'll talk about more topics like this and in the future. Uh, I'm not if comment subscribe. Um, please give me your thoughts and opinions too. It's good to listen to other people's thoughts and opinions. I think that for the most part there are cons and pros to both sides, but we need to be careful as we approach some of this stuff. Uh, I think to a point too. Um, we'll just see what the future holds. Let's actually see it. Like I said, vinyl is back. So. I wouldn't trust a lot of these people who just push digital because vinyl has made a point. It's come back. And the and some of these are the same people who said vinyl is dead. Come on, look at Walmart. My Walmart sells it. And it sells. Okay? That's why they're selling it. Alright. Uh, anyway. <laughs> it, it's Physical media is not dead until it's dead. Okay? Until I actually see the store change into something else where they're not selling it at all. All right. Anyway, this has been the Hershey Show. Please comment, subscribe. I hope to see you next time on other topics. And I definitely should be able to see you next time for other topics. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your day. And I hope you guys give some thought and consideration to our future and the human future of any of these issues that come up. And let's, I guess, build a better life together. But for now, I, need to, I do need to sign off and say goodbye.